Well, day two of the Michelle Traconis trial focused on the garage of Jennifer Farber Dulos' New Canaan home and the evidence police say they found inside. And Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is covering this trial for us. He breaks down day two. Before they could get to today's main witness, the judge first had to rule on a defense motion regarding whether or not testimony regarding a presumptive blood test would be allowed. Particularly a detective who's only there to take samples from a garage or from a car doesn't need to talk about a chemical that is basically junk science as the reason. Michelle Traconis' attorney wanted to prevent testimony regarding the field testing of blood-like stains inside Jennifer Farber Dulos' New Canaan garage, arguing the initial testing often picks up other substances and chemicals as well. You have a presumptive test by itself, not good enough, but you also have a missing person investigation. You have the color and shape of unidentified stains. You have spatter pattern. You have unidentified stains on the vehicle in the garage. On the stand this afternoon, now retired state police detective Matthew Riley. As part of the Western District Major Crime Squad, he was tasked with collecting evidence, including swabbing and testing the blood-like stains in the garage and in the house, including on a roll of paper towels and a doorknob. On this side, uh, is pretty clearly visible a uh, uh, fingerprint and then on the reverse side of it we saw what uh, possibly looked like some blood-like stains. Michelle Traconis is charged with conspiracy to commit murder, tampering with evidence and hindering prosecution in the 2019 disappearance of Jennifer Farber Dulos. Her then boyfriend Fotis Dulos, Jennifer's estranged husband, was charged with murder but committed suicide before heading to trial. As for this trial, while the state continues to lay out its case, defense attorney John Schoenhorn notes, so far, not one witness has mentioned his client by name. I think it's going to be quite a while. Um, and that's that's all I want to say right now. No court on Monday because of the holiday testimony scheduled right now to pick back up on Tuesday, but that's all depending on the weather because there's snow in the forecast. Reporting at Stanford Superior Court, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.